uh, involves a block of wood and a six inch nail. The nail is going to go into the block and go into the bag. I've got to place this carefully because there are three other bags and they've got to feel the same. So in these bags, I have just the block. And what would usually happen at this point, I thought I'd make it a little bit more fun because it's a bit dark. What would usually happen at this point is the magician would then, after they've been mixed up by a member of the audience, would then go through one at a time and slam their hand down on three of them except one. But I don't want to do that. I want you to do it. I'm not going to slam your hand down. <laughs> Nobody's doing that. First of all, I am going to mix them up. Now, even if I was to keep talking and you were looking at this and you would might think, oh, I can follow this, and you may do, but you'd be surprised at how wrong you would get it, even if I'm mixing it up. And if I said to you, would you bet your life on looking at the right one, you might say, I think so, but I'm not sure. So what I'm going to do is, now I'm going to mix them up with my back to you, so you really won't have a clue which one is which. But does anybody think they know which one one thing with the spike is? <coughs> be honest. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Would you bet your life on it? <laughs> <laughs> Some of you do means that the person I get up here to mix them might know which one is where, and then it would be, and now I could maybe read their body language or something like that, and I don't want to do that. Uh, so I'm going to ask someone who uh, isn't a magician. Tim, you help me out. Can you come up for me? Is that okay? So give them a good mix. Okay. Make sure you can feel that they all feel the same. That'll do. Okay. All right. Right. Yeah. Give me a big round of applause, you can go back to the oh. <laughs> <laughs> That was genuine grief. <laughs> I'm inspired by different magicians. David Blaine, for example, developed the idea of the levitation. Well, he did it on the street, and nobody had ever really done that. And, and from that point, even way back then, people still talk about that. And David Copperfield developed the idea of vanishing an object, and he vanished the Statue of Liberty, and people still talk about that. And I'm going to take the idea of whatever this is, a stunt, uh, and sit on it. I'm going to sit on it. Now, how are you feeling? Because you're going to tell me which one's to sit on. <laughs> okay, what's your name again? I do apologize. Caroline. Caroline. I forgot your name, so I'm a little bit nervous, to be honest. I'm <laughs> <laughs> How are you nervous? Don't be, keep your act. Right. So, we got to, like I said, I want to make this fun. I don't want it to be too dark. I mean, it might end up being too dark, let's face it. It might, <laughs> it might be a bit bleak, but John's going to lift you back up afterwards. <laughs> you might have your work cut out, John. Right. I'm going to walk. Nonchalantly, <laughs> past the chairs, Caroline. Yeah. But I said I wanted to make this a bit more light. So could we have the, the song? It's not a game, a little musical chair. So uh, just we'll have it quite so you can hear it. That's it. Now I'll tell you what's going to happen to me. Now just like it. A little bit higher. Okay. <laughs> what's what's going to happen to Caroline? So I'm going to walk from beginning to end. And you can take your time, not too much time. And when you feel right, <laughs> don't let the scale up. When you feel right, you go stop. And when you do that, he's going to stop the music and I will sit down on the potential spike of death. Well, take your time, stop. it'll be nice and eh? Stop. That one. Not that one! <laughs> no, no, that one. <laughs> That's I'm sure! You're going to sit on this one. Yeah, maybe on the edge of the chair. <laughs> Show me a sit there! <laughs> you want me to sit on it? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I such a twat? <laughs> Stop. 
You sure? No, the one at the end. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> so if this goes bad, you're going to make a lot of money, mate. <laughs> If it does go right, the music's going to start again, you're going to clap and cheer. I'm going to feel so happy. If it goes wrong, it kind of, in some way it's going to be funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh.